Okay, so I'm here with Craig and Alexander, uh, representing Modern Nature. Craig, tell us where the idea came from for filming this documentary. This film was the result of a number of interviews that I had been conducting on the food system and the film kind of developed on its own in the sense that it wasn't a, a script driven documentary but rather an exploration into agrotechnology, questions about feeding the world, uh, hearing a lot of discussion about the different alternatives that we have to move forward as, as a humanity mm -hmm. and seeing that there was a great deal of polarization within this topic. So I thought, well, let's, let's explore this more deeply. Sure. And was it important for you to, to put the kind of perspective on the documentary that you have? Because like you said, it's really important that the audience kind of form their own opinion on it. Was that something that was always the plan from the beginning? Or was that something that developed as you started shooting and getting material together? In general, with my work, I prefer to respect the viewer mm -hmm. to draw conclusions for him or herself. And in that sense, I think that it was, uh, the perspective is to, to raise awareness. That's the perspective. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about the, the film festival circuit, because you've, you finished the, the, the film in March, so incredibly quickly you've got onto the circuit. Tell us a little bit about how well, it's well, it's interesting. Uh, Alexander had composed the music. We were a very small team. It was, it was myself, it was a, a, an editor, and it was Alex with the music. And so, um, I had seen that in the case of the Saint Tropez International Film Festival, they had a particular category for, for music for film. I thought, oh, well, that sounds nice. So I submitted that in, in March 14th, immediately after finishing. Received recognition that it was nominated in a number of other categories. I said, well, maybe, maybe, maybe this film has some traction. So that's when I began to enter in, for example, to the LA uh, inter, uh, International Film, uh, the script, film and Script Festival. And, Found, it was the one documentary that was selected as the best documentary feature. I submitted to a couple of others and was just su surprised to see positive reaction from, from very, different, diff very different places. Yeah, that's fantastic. It's going to screen in, it's going to be at the, uh, in the Cannes short, short film corner. So it's wonderful to be here in the south of France and sort of <laughs> driving between the two places. And it's very early days as well. Like you said, if you finish in March and you're on the festival circuit already, then I'm sure there's more to come as well. I think the important thing with a topic that's so topical, which is feeding the world and the choices that we have, whether we, we, we push further with biotechnology or whether we, we explore more about what nature has to offer or a combination of the two, that this is something that's so important and so urgent that ideally we would have the possibility of, of using the, the, the circuit as, a, as an opportunity to then springboard into other media for communication. Yeah, fantastic. And Alex, the music, the man behind the music, tell us about how that, how that fits there and how that relationship kind of works with, with working on the documentary. Right, uh, so when I was first watching the, the first cut, mm -hmm. I realized that the movie is not about creating biases. Yeah. The movie is about uh, just creating awareness. And so what can I do? So. If I just create like a music that's very that, that just brings people to attention from the very beginning, like music that's fast paced, that's that's flowing, like water, that just catches people attention people's attention from the very beginning, then they will it'll just bring people towards watching the rest of the film. Yeah. Uh, it also had a lot of practicality. Um, like the it, the movie is very fast paced, in and of, in of itself, and what I can do is create uh, relief. In sort of like breaths in the movie mm -hmm. uh, to calm people down uh, from all that is happening and also to uh, at the very end to remind people that um, it, it, it like technically you know um, structurally like that we're coming to a, ver to a close to the mm -hmm. movie um, so so I, I repeat the music from the very beginning just yeah. so people realize that okay here we're, we're approaching the end so, so people aren't like completely confused as to where we are in the movie. Mm -hmm, absolutely, and like you mentioned in the Q and A, it, it just fits perfectly with all those images, and like you said, the opening, closing, it just. Yes, I thought Alexander did a great job in terms of capturing a sort of meditative mood, mm -hmm. but also a sense of urgency and fluidity between the perspectives, so that it would sort of assuage any conflict that may that may appear, and really move more in the direction of of thinking and uh, uh, up by the viewer. Sure. And do you have plans to work together in the future again? 
Uh, in well, the pipeline yet? Or? I mean, I've, I've always uh, scored the films for my dad. Yeah. And I do hope to continue scoring more films by him. Uh, and like, I've, I've worked with a lot of other uh, film directors, and and what I've noticed is like a lot of times like their uh, movies are like either they're I mean they're they're not like as intellectually uh, founded as mm -hmm. my my dad's movies. Like they're extremely intellectual, and and some of the people seen in these movies are extremely hard to find, extremely hard to to get on film. Uh, so it's great to be able to work with my dad. Absolutely. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, it's, it's great to give and him he's a... he's still talking at the end of the Yes. Well, you, uh, Alexander's doing work that's very creative and artistic, and he has a number of symphonies that are sure. performing his music. It, more um, Then there's bringing music into for film, which is a completely different, different genre. Absolutely. And, and tell us a little bit about your musical career, because you're, you're incredibly young and you've achieved a lot already. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, just this summer, I'm having... Perf uh, like music ranging from chamber to vocal to orchestral music uh, throughout Ecuador, uh, Greece, um, Berlin. Uh, recently I had an orchestral piece played in Netherlands, wow. having a piece played in the fall in, in Sydney, uh, like orchestral, orchestral uh, like symphony. Mm -hmm. um, and I have various commissions. I've been commissioned by the Seattle Symphony, um, uh, Chicago Ensemble Folk and Point, a, a trumpet concerto. Mm -hmm. uh, like lot of, I have lots of great opportunities. Fantastic, you must be incredibly proud. Yes, and what I, I mean, as a filmmaker, I needed quick turnaround. Someone who could capture the sensitivity, yeah. but more than that, not give me a hassle. Someone who can <laughs> give me, give me by time codes, give me two minutes twenty-eight, sure. give me one thirty-seven, and give it to me today. <laughs> and so, modern nature and, and the future. What's what's the plan with modern nature? Where where is the next stop for for modern nature? Well, I'm, I'm now uh, exploring different distribution possibilities, whether um, or in combination of them. We're, we'll, we'll see as the movie's just completed. I'm, I'm speaking with a number of people, so we'll see that. I'm also looking at what would be the logical offshoots of this, whether mm -hmm. it's, it's a series, whether it's a, a longer feature to follow, or whether it's incorporated into, into an educational platform. Fantastic. Well, we wish you all the best and keep in touch with, with everything you do with Modern Nature. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Thank you.